According to the South African Sugar Association, the health promotions levy dealt a significant blow to the industry, particularly because the beverage sector is its largest customer. The impact of the sugar tax on beverage sales resulted in substantial job losses for both the beverages and sugarcane industry and resulted in the closure of two of the over dozen sugar mills. Any changes to the HPL must be evidence-based. So uh, at the moment, the presidency is conducting a socioeconomic impact assessment study of the HPL. I mentioned earlier there was a NEDLAC study. So the, um, the one being undertaken by the presidency is looking at, I think it's 2022 onwards. So there's a socioeconomic impact assessment study, or SEAS. And then the Department of Health is also doing a dietary intake study to find out exactly what South Africans are eating, because you can't penalize one item in the food basket when you don't know where the source of calories are in the diet. The association says the implementation of the first phase of the Sugar Master Plan 2030 successfully prevented the industry's collapse, but progressing to phase two is essential for the industry's long-term survival. But what stands out is we're wanting to move from a sugar industry to a sugar cane based industry that produces sugar as well as other products. But we also want to obviously contribute to the country's economic and social development and create prosperity, not only for ourselves, but all the players in, in the value chain, society and the environment. The improvement in the industry under phase one has created an opportunity for the industry to consider diversification options including bioethanol and co-generated electricity. However, government support is needed to make product diversification a reality. Our studies found that we can produce up to 750 million litres of ethanol. So that's the amount that can be produced by the sugar industry. And this is quite a large amount because um, South Africa's petrol consumption is around 9 billion litres. So we can contribute up to 8% of this when we blending with petrol. CEO of Sasa, Trix Trickham, has warned that the industry cannot afford another shock. The farmers uh, are going to be in trouble. Uh, they will not be able to survive uh, because the cost of production of sugar cane uh, will be much higher than what they receive and therefore they will get out of sugar cane and once they're out of sugar cane it's very difficult to put other crops on that land the industry estimates that it will take a minimum of five years before the proposed resolutions begin to have an impact sabc news cape town